So you want to do a factory reset. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do that. One is mainly used if you're going to sell your drone with the controller. What you need to do is get your account off that controller. So that's one of the main reasons. But to me, a couple of days ago, there was an upload on the RC2. And for some reason, it, it just jammed the RC. It was trying to upload and it just going on and it just wouldn't open up. Um, now, I did do a video. I actually went live uh, and two guys from DJI told me to press the on and off button for 10, 15 seconds. But that didn't seem to resolve it. So the next option was, was to go uh, and have a look, plug it into the computer, I should say. Now, when you when you do plug it into a computer, guys, especially for the um, DJI Assist 2, and you've got to make sure, because there's two of them, apparently. <laughs> you've got them in brackets. It's called the Consumer Drone Series. That's the only one that works properly. So you just plug it into your RC. It will come up with the actual um, device that you're using. Now, mine was already uploaded. And that's about as far as it went. So my last option, it all sounds drastic, doesn't it? A factory reset. But it's not as bad as you think it is. So it's quite a simple process, I must say. So what you got to do is you swipe down from the top of the screen. You go to the settings, which is the top right. And then you've got system. And then you've got reset options. So you press that. And then you've got arrays, all data, factory reset. So you press that as well. So it tells you all the information, what it's going to do, what it's going to erase off it. And then you just press erase all details. Now I'll erase all data. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. And all it's going to do, it erase everything. You go back in, you Put, you sign back in with your account number and password, obviously. It would go through some of the formalities of um, starting up again. Now, what it might do, uh, well, what it will do, especially if you do what I do, I do screen saves, and it's going to save all them back onto your um, internal card, not your SD card, which is quite a simple process. So what's going to happen is you... You've got your main screen up, you press profile, you then go down to settings, you then go down to storage, and then what you're going to see, now at the, I've already changed mine over because um, I use that a lot, that SD card, especially with the screen size. But if I press the internal storage, you can see what's going to happen. It always going to do is switch it over. Um, I'm going to count to that. From myself because I'm not doing all that again. It only takes a couple of minutes, guys. Um, so I hope you find that useful. Um, it is drastic, I suppose, doing um, a factory reset, but if nothing else works, if your screen just blocks up, can be a bit of a nightmare, I must say. And that's I think that's the last resort that you can do. And also that would work also on your RC for your Mini Free Pro. So hopefully you found that useful and helpful. Anyway, as always, I'll catch you on another video very soon. Mm -hmm.